have been flogged out of my unit, yes, flogged yes, out of my on Owale Street, yes, Solo, yes. Solo, what seven, flogged out like a common criminal. Look at my neck, flogged out, and I was just I didn't cause any trouble. I was just standing. I can read almost voting, and they came out with canes. Well, let's and begin what's trending. In the wake of conversations surrounding the heritage of candidates in the gubernatorial election in Lagos State, the chairman of the Lagos State Parks Management Committee, Musiliu Akinsonya, also known as MCO Luomo, in a viral video on Thursday, warned Igbos in the state who will not vote for the All Progressives Congress to stay at home on Election Day. MCO Luomo made the comment while addressing supporters of the APC at a meeting. He also condemned Igbos, stating that if any one of them becomes governor, they would use offsprings of the Yorubas for ritual purposes. Let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. <laughs> Please, if you don't want to wait for us, please, sit down for a while. Sit down for a while. This has caused a lot of outrage. I'll take some reactions. Um, this is from Agaji, who wrote, If anything happens to the good people of Lagos State and voters that intend to vote out bad governance, MCO Luomo should be held responsible and the governor. It is disheartening that the Nigerian police and the DSS will see this and turn a blind eye. Security should be beefed up at polling units. Well, another tweet there goes, the Igbos are being disrespected and provoked unnecessarily. The security apparatus will be held responsible should anything happen to the Igbos in Lagos. The footprints are all over the state. Well, Joseph wrote, nobody is above the law. Why is this man allowed to freely threaten people and nothing is done? We were promised free, fair election by this government. Is this election free and fair? They not, one guy, a random guy, said chasing him and beating him, saying that he's an Igbo man, that he should go back to Anambra to go and vote. Who does that? Who does that? And this boy was telling me, let's go. Now they beat my friend because ha, you, you guys are evil. Una, eh? You guys are evil. You guys are evil. You knew what you were doing. They now start beating him up. They slapped him. They used the um 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 the, you know, that um the the, the oh leg of God. the white table white to start wiping him. Another person used um tire um rubber, that uh, like uh, car rubber like to start whipping him. What did he just, do? Just to go and cast a vote. What did he do? What did that boy do? Look at him. Just don't oh, stop yeah. fucking your See, I can see your body now. Eh? Okay. Very sorry, very sorry, very okay. sorry. What happened? What, what happened, please, quickly? It was at uh, Akisan, Bas, Obas Palace. Uh -huh. So that's uh, my own political unit. So we went there to vote. Even they said that uh, they, want, they don't want anybody who is not going to vote APC to be on the line. Even if you go there, you must surely vote for APC. So at a point, one of our friends asked me, on the phone, say, what's, the, what's happening in our area? I told him on the phone, said that 
we are not self on this area. They said that everybody should vote APC, even they did not allow us to be on the line for the queue. So in the process, one global guy descended on me, asking me why am I chatting for this. I said, which one am I chatting? Even they collected my phone. Hey, damn. Wow. Started beating me. So at the point, when they gave me bruises, I had to phone one of a friend, and the other guy called me to go. I'm in Nigeria. Go to your I'm here. 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 So young people, they there. Okay. They know, they know, they don't settle. The soldiers know they do anything. Police there, they don't do anything. If you vote Labour Party, they will attack you. Nobody will defend us. Oh, no. ah. For this Oshodi. For Oshodi here. Oshodi. For Oshodi speed. For Oshodi. Now we are the Now APC talk. If you vote Labour Party, they will attack you. See my leg. Now just now, now where this thing happened. So because say uh, my first we say I vote the Labour Party. Three good boys for Owoshe this speech for Lagos State. So young people they there. Okay. They know they know they don't settle the soldiers know they do anything. Police they don't do anything. If you vote Labour Party, they will attack you. Nobody will defend us. Oh, no. For this Oshodi. For Oshodi here. Oshodi. For Oshodi this speech. It will not be counted. So no need. So are you saying people that are the following unit now wasting their time? You can see what happened in social media, what uh, MC Uluomo said. That if you do not vote, if you, if you know you will not vote for APC, you shouldn't bother coming out to vote. So our lives are very, very important. As an Igbo man, as a businessman, I have kids, four children. So I shouldn't come out here to vote. At the end, somebody will shoot me because I wanted to go and cast my vote. So that statement alone went viral. And everybody saw it. So you don't expect me to go and cast my vote. At the, on the process, somebody will break my head. But Sue Larry here, who saw what happened when the Labour Party were doing their campaign. The Labour Party, whatever, presidential, uh, uh, whatever, they break his head and did all those sort of things. So it's as if our election is violent. So I decided to come and ease in myself and do exercise instead of going there to cause violence. Well, well the same MC Olomo came out yesterday and said he was only joking. So didn't you see that video? That means Nigeria is a joke. It's something that came out at Rice Television. Even, uh, what's his name, Rufai said it, that this thing is, is blaspheming. How can you come out and say, if you're not coming to vote for APC, that means we don't have choice. So... I, there, I have children who I will cater for. I'd rather go and ease in my service instead of going there to risk my life. So, Thank you very much. Yeah, Do you have faith in the electoral system? I don't, I don't have any single faith in it. So let us just keep going. Look at what happened in presidential. The, our mandate was taken over from us. So what are we doing? So we, don't, we just want to... Yeah. I'm Steven by name. Yeah. Steven Ekegalo. My friend called me speaker. Yeah. Hey guys. Um... I'm still in shock. I'm still very much in shock. So I'm just, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So I, I was supposed to work today. Supposed to, I work at a radio station, so I ought to cover the elections for the radio station. But something happened. I missed that. So I said, okay, since I was home, I was going to go and vote. So my friend calls me up. I'm sorry. I'm still in shock. Woo. Okay. So my friend calls me up, he's like, Charlie, what's about, what are we doing? Are we going to, you know, vote? And I said, yes, when I get there, I'll call you, you know, and I'll, you know, and I'll know, know where you are and stuff. So I get to my polling unit. I get um, accredited. I'm supposed to vote, right? So I'm just, my friend calls me up. So I bring out my phone to pick up my the call and then all of a sudden they you know like these two guys rush towards me and they're just why why are you come out where they come your phone i'm like what's going on so i just caught the call just to be on the safe side i'm like what's the problem so somebody tells me from behind i turned to check who tapped me and he said uh omo ibu uh better 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 be careful and i'm like what does having to be ibu do with anything next thing you guys i was seeing stars i was seeing black this guy, this, the guy who tapped me from behind slapped me twice. I was so disoriented. I was so disorganized. I tried to, you know, I, I, it, I'm saying everything that happened, happened so quickly. So I tried to, 
Okay, so I try to, you know, put myself together. And all of a sudden, they start hitting me from all corners, saying that, um, go back to an umbrella, all these evil boys, all these evil boys, come on for here. I tell you the way I ran for my life today. I have never run like that in the past 11 years. I ran, you guys. I'm still shaking. I ran for my polling unit back home. Why? I was told not to vote, obviously. Or rather, I was made not to vote and driven like a common criminal because I'm able. You tell your governor, whatever you are, I'll be anything, anything. Labor. Talk about being you. And what do you want to do? This is Lagos. Oh. This is Lagos. She's not going to be able to do Eh? Chabal is going to kill you there. If them boy you people were, come and vote for labor in Lagos. It's either someone who or nobody. Labor for this Lagos. And my labor for me. Hey, Nisho, you re. You describe that big up. Come vote. Say that bad about your name. If them boy your mama well, come be Lagos the governor. Emma show for video you've just watched is a very uh, tri troubling one it's one that a nigerian a supporter of apc is clearly saying or threatening anyone who would dare come out on the election day or the, being the 18th of march to vote for any other candidate in lagos state other than the apc candidate he made it very clear that anyone who dares would be severely dealt with he even specifically directed his threats to Igbo people in lagos and saying that they are ethnic bigots so all these were threats that were made on social media and they were there for everyone to see including the law enforcement agencies but the worrying thing though is that in the same one nigeria where everybody is allowed to exist and trade and live wherever they want to individuals of apc are coming out especially people of the southwest in lagos state coming out and saying if you're not from there you can vote how is that even possible that an individual could come out and threaten an entire ethnic group in broad daylight on social media in view of everybody both the president the law enforcement agencies and every agency that should take concern or should be concerned about such threats which goes to the foundation and the fundamental understanding of what nigeria the one nigeria in quote is all about this is an individual in fact the second person who is making this threat openly and these guys have not even been called in by police for questioning. So do you then blame those who worry and who go out claiming that Nigeria is not one? I will leave that question for you to be answered. However, let's go on to the next video, which is even a higher and a more dangerous threat just because of elections and people threatening Igbos that they are not allowed to vote in an election in their own country just in another state just hold your breath and let's listen to the next line of threats i'm not even evil you are counting as evil you burn your i was born evil this is not because of this place even though you born in lagos you are not the original of lagos i'm the indigenous of lagos so i'm i'm the indigenous of lagos there's no ethic on me from entering. I'm telling you, that's what is going on here. The video you have just watched is such an alarming video. Where you had Bola Ahmed Tunumbu thugs in Lagos State openly saying that Igbos are not allowed to vote in Lagos State. And that is alarming because Nigeria is supposed to be one country, meaning that anybody, irrespective of your ethnic nationalities, is able to vote where you reside. But unfortunately, it is obvious and clear that there was an intention to disenfranchise the Igbos and similarly single them out 
as MC Oluoma said. Beat them, kill those who you can, and snatch the boats where you cannot. And that is exactly what has transpired here. But the disturbing thing, or the alarming thing, if I may say, is the fact that the federal government has been mute on this matter. The law enforcement agency, the police, was heard on national TV saying that the main perpetrator or orchestrator of this act of violence, the main orchestrator of this violence, who is popularly known as MC Oduomo, according to the police, the law enforcement agencies, in their position, they think he was joking. So as a result, there was no need for investigation. There was no need to pick him up and question him. There was no need for the police to act. So it was obvious that there is a collusion between APC talks, uh, which are obviously Bola Tunumbu talks, the police themselves, or I don't know whether DSS is involved, but as many as they are involved, they know themselves. So basically, you ask yourself, why is it that instead of actually arresting this individual, questioning him and further prosecuting him for committing acts in my view of treason because disenfranchising the Igbos and threatening their core existence is tantamount to right destruction of the existence of one Nigeria because you if you say that one person who's a Nigerian is not entitled to vote in the place that he resides and do business and pay taxes that means you fundamentally destroyed everything about one Nigeria, then if the police officers are seen on national TV defending this barbaric act of existential threat coming from a known thug, the chief thug of Bola Ahmed Tunubu in Lagos State, then the Igbos have cause to worry of, their, of the actual existential threat in Lagos. And this calls for action. So I think the Igbos must come together and decide on what to do in terms of protecting themselves and their continued existence in the warm Nigeria as it's meant to be. Because it is time for them to begin to think about how to protect themselves. It is obvious that the government of Muhammad Buhari and the law enforcement agency are compromised as regards to protecting the Igbos in this regard. So the following video is where I'm going to show you the response of the police officer who was interviewed before this incident transpired and his position um, as regards to this incident. So just hold hold on. Don't go nowhere. Grab a cup of tea if you want. It's getting even inter more interesting. Hear what the law enforcement agency had to say when questioned about this threat by the known thug of Bola Ahmed Tunubu, his chief thug known by MC Oluoma. Hold your breath. Let's see how it goes. Surfaced. There is one that came up in Kano, which we understand that the DSS has dealt with, arrested some persons. But there is one which came up on the social media in Lagos relating uh, to the uh, chief of uh, the, the park, uh, uh, park Association in Lagos, uh, popularly called MC Oluomo. I'm very certain that you are very much uh, savvy in that regard and you know what is going on. What can you tell us about the concerns that have been raised on a statement attributed uh, to that man and those concerns raised on what has been said in that social media viral video? Tim, I want to address that issue in two folds. One, if somebody is saying you should not come out to vote, we, we, we operate secret ballots. If I'm going out to go and vote, and somebody is saying, are you voting for me? I say yes. And I get to the booth, I put, I top print another party. I'm not going to show anybody my ballot paper. Nobody is knowing what I'm, I, I, I've done. Nobody is knowing the person I voted for. That is, by the way. The second thing is, this evening, I think the, the person in, in involved, uh, MC Oluoma himself, uh, I saw a video again with one, is it Mama, Chidi Mama, Mama, one evil woman too, that uh, whose name was mentioned in his video, this, this bunking, that, that uh, threats, that it is not true, it's just a joke, and he's joking to a particular, he's making a joke with some particular woman, and the woman too came up 
to say it is not so. They are just trained banters and it's a joke. So let us take it for a joke, like you said. But nobody has the right, has the audacity to tell Nigerians not to come out and vote. It is not allowed. It is not possible and it's not proper. But he has come out to debunk that is not true. And let us leave it that way that it is it is not true and it is a joke within uh, one or two persons in that area at that particular point in time. Even the CP Lagos or the television uh, live program on the television this afternoon to address that, that if it is true, they are even working on it and investigating that matter and looking into it. And this night, the, the, the man himself came out to debunk it that it is not true. So it is not true Lagosians should go out tomorrow, let them go and vote, let them go to their various polling units and vote for their candidate of their choice. Well, all we, we do is to make sure that we Mr. Adejobi, let's assume personally. that it, it was a joke, but for those who are concerned that it, it, it sounded like an incitement, uh, what are you doing? Is there any active action that has been taken by the police in that regard? Because like, it's like beyond I said, thinking CP that Lagos, is... CP Lagos, the Commissioner of Police in charge of Lagos State came up today to, to tell all Nigerians that they are aware of the video and they are looking into that video that they have sent that video and other ones that had gone viral before his video uh, to our cyber crime unit to do analysis and for further necessary action. So let's wait for what Lagos Command will do and let's wait for what the CP will do as he has promised. But I know they are aware and they are working on it. But generally, the, the assurance to Egosian is that they should go out tomorrow to go and vote because I don't, we don't envisage any, anybody telling them not to come out and to block them, don't go and vote for this, and don't go and vote for that. But like I said, if I want to go and vote at the polling unit, nobody knows what I have in my mind. It's a secret ballot. I vote and I get out of All that right. place. It's when they are counting, you will know that they have not voted for your party or your, for, for your person at the end of the vote. So it, it is not, we should, be flog, we should not be flogging it as if uh, we are flogging something and it's not a, a, a big matter here because he has come out to say it is not true. And if it is true, I, I think the police in Lagos State Command, they are capable. Senior officers on ground, they know what to do. When we get to the bridge... Yes, the you had him right. That's exactly what he said. He said it was a joke. Having watched all the videos and seen all the barbaric acts that were perpetrated against the Igbos in Lagos State during this election time, the videos are there for you to see. I'm not making it up. Now I leave you to make your own judgments. Having seen all the videos, you have seen what happened. You have had witnesses. You have seen the injuries. You see, and this is only but a few clips that I wanted to be in this video. There are more. There are hundreds. But I choose only this few, at least, just to be able to put buttress the intention of this. So thanks for clicking. Um, kindly remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Also, press the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you would also get the notification for that. Kindly use the like button. The like button is what shows our video to more people. So the more likes we get, the more people get to watch the video. So thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Goodbye.